Welcome back. Let's talk about profit maximization for a firm in a monopolistic competition. And we're going to take a look at the graph here. The situation is actually very similar to the one we saw in the last unit for the monopoly. The demand curve is downward sloping, but it's not as downward sloping. It's relatively flat, actually, closer to the, the pure competition situation. In pure competition, we saw a horizontal demand curve. In Unit 7, the other extreme, the monopoly, we saw a very steep demand curve. Here we see a demand curve that is in between, really, because the industry, monopolistic competition, is in between pure competition and monopoly. So this is our demand, the blue demand curve. The marginal revenue curve will look something like that. And then we have our typical cost curves. This would be the average variable cost curve. And then above that is the average total cost curve. And then a typical marginal cost curve would look something like that. Close approximation. Now, where do we maximize profits? Well, the uh, golden rule of profit maximization is we've got to look at where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. So here's our marginal revenue. Here's our marginal cost. The two curves meet right there. So the price that the firm will charge is right there. Call it PPM, profit maximizing price. The quantity is right there. QPM. And if we wanted to figure out the total profit, we've got to find the average total cost. We can draw a straight line across, and this would be our profit area. So again, very similar to the monopoly situation, except that the demand curve is a little bit flatter. The graph we just looked at a second ago is a short run situation for a monopolistically competitive firm because we noticed that in that graph, the firm was actually making a profit. Now, in the long run, we say that monopolistically competitive firms are not able to make an economic profit. In other words, they're not able to make an above normal profit. The reason for that is that in monopolistic competition, there are low or no barriers to entry. So if firms are making above normal profits, other firms, new firms, will enter the industry. It will increase the supply of the product and the price will come down and therefore the economic profit will eventually disappear. It will actually, in the long run, be zero. So the situation for that here is as follows. We still maximize our profits at the MC is MR point. So that's this point right here. So if we draw a line straight down to the quantity axis, we have a quantity where we are maximizing our profits. Actually, we have econ zero economic profits here. So let's call it the long run equilibrium quantity. The point right above it is the price. So this is going to be the price. And we'll call it the long run price for a firm in monopolistic competition. Now notice at that price, the average total cost curve touches the demand curve, the price curve. So price is the same as average total cost. So that means that economic profits are zero. So this is a long run situation for a monopolistically competitive firm.